Hey guys! Um, I'm literally just about to go over there and grab a I water. I didn't do anything. <laughs> like both <laughs> episodes so far, you just started off. <laughs> just because she was hit with a blunt object. Yeah. <laughs> the controller's upside down. Because we saw that. <clears throat> she was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. He's up there just pulling like potato yeah, chips out of his beard. Chips. I think that the beard's only there so he can mask like the bag of potato chips he has hidden under it. He has a family sized bag of Doritos. <laughs> just all in his beard. Like you just see like a couple crumbs just falling out. He just sticks his tongue down in there. And then he has a few baby birds in there. That's why the voice you're doing just sounds kind of like he's still has something in his mouth. <laughs> You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we should pro shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. <coughs> First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. The penis part was missing too. Isn't there like a I part. see. The court accepts it into evidence. Wasn't it like a like the penis showing on that statue or something like that? No, no. What's that no. one pig? What's that one statue? Anyway, David. I. Right. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, you're not right. You are wrong. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. <laughs> that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Press the button to check the court record and do it frequently. Mr. Pine. The prosecution may call its first witness. You see, you don't like how it feels, do you? <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution <laughs> calls the defendant, <laughs> Mr. Butts, to the stand. <laughs> um, Chief, what do I do now? <clears throat> oh, oh my, that's me. Pay attention, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. <laughs> You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. And... Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. By excited, like, you're just thinking the wrong thing. <clears throat> and like... Ahem. Okay, I'm not gonna finish my joke. Mr. Butts... Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? And it broke the stand that he's standing at. Hey! Watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet! Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumb. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. What's it you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we men <laughs> What we dumped. men call dumped. <laughs> In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men, including me. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean one of them? 
Lies, Ahmed! Lies! I don't believe a word! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. You can just fucking press A. I don't need to read that. Hum. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Including, including me. me. <laughs> I had a Daddy's large income, if you know what sugar? I mean. Yes. Spice, everything nice. Older men who gave her money and gifts. Including like me. <laughs> she took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. You think pain was just max pain? <laughs> Dude! Or older. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Oh, oh my bad. Nick! <laughs> <laughs> right. I just got so used to you reading, I'm just like, I'm not gonna ruin his mojo. <laughs> just dropping <laughs> chips everywhere. I don't think you want him to answer that question. I dropped my chips, hold on. Okay, we can continue. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all of the wrong directions. Left, right, up, down, diagonal, northeast, southeast. Should I... Stop him from answering? My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. <laughs> Dude, Nick! What do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. I'm going to get to the bottom of this! Let's continue with this trial, shall we? I believe the accused's uh, motive is clear to everyone. Sorry, I, the prompter went too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> Of a fucking prompter, <laughs> like to everybody's line, is that right there? And they're all just like casually just looking down at it. That wasn't that funny. Anyway, oh boy, this is not gonna not. Not looking good, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the chips, Judge. <laughs> just He's just flicking them chips from across the courtroom. Next question. <laughs> you went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> <laughs> well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well... Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. Uh, what do I do? Uh, have him answer honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. ORDER! <laughs> well, Mr. Butts... 
dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So like, I didn't see her. <laughs> Objection! Did you hear his fucking voice? Objection! <laughs> Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Her other sugar daddy. Order! <laughs> <laughs> He's just choking on chips. <laughs> <laughs> just like choking on like all the chips that he has. Like he was just like, oh, he's talking. Oh, he finished sooner than I thought. That's better. <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution might call its witness. I'll be the bad guy again. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Next time. Bam, you like how I end off with these fucking cliffhangers? It's pretty damn dope. That was pretty cliff and hanging, bro. <laughs>